What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about how silver is real true honest money. Honest value never fails. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more, and of course, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account, refer a friend by the end of the month, and they're going to give you 10 free random stocks, refer three friends by the end of the month, and they're going to give you all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Thursday, July 21st, 2022. It's the 19th as I'm recording this video, pre-recording uh, the entire rest of the month's worth of videos, actually, to be honest with you. And I'm out here in the woods with one of my favorite silver rounds. And this is one of my favorite silver rounds for a couple of different reasons. I really like the message behind this one right here. And before I get into this one particular piece of silver, let me quickly go over the other three of my four favorites. First one being the Silver Buffalo. Big fan of the Silver Buffalo. I love the way that it looks. I love everything about it. I love its popularity. I love its relatively low premiums. I think the Silver Buffalo is one of the best silver rounds you could possibly stack for the long term. Two would be sunshine rounds for similar reasons, but I'm a big fan of the security feature that is on the sunshine round or the sunshine bar. All sunshine products, that new security feature or relatively new security feature, big fan of that. And I think it makes perfect sense to stack, especially for the long term. Three would be a silver round that you may or may not have ever seen or heard of before, but it was my very first piece of silver ever. And that's quite literally the reason it's my favorite or one of my favorites just because it was one of my first and of course the fourth is this one right here and it's because of the message that's attached to it and not just on the obverse right here honest value never fails you know funny enough I've gotten so many comments on my videos. I've gotten so many messages on social media over the years, which by the way, if you have an Instagram, a Twitter, or a TikTok, feel free to give me a follow and make sure to connect with me away from YouTube. It's at MikeyDYDSS, M-Y-K-I-E-D-Y-D-S-S, across all platforms. Connect with me over there, just in case. But... I've gotten so many comments, so many messages over the years about this particular piece of silver. So many people have asked me, hey, are you selling it? Are you willing to trade it? I'll give you two troy ounces for it. I'll give you three troy ounces for it. I'll give you a certain amount of currency for it. For whatever reason, <laughs> it seems to be a very in-demand piece of silver. I haven't gotten really any comments or messages about any other piece of silver that I have, not to my knowledge anyway. This one in particular, <laughs> seems to be a crowd favorite, but I can't give it up. Sorry. So not only does it say honest value never fails on the obverse, but if we flip it on over, we can actually see a very important message about real, true, honest money. It says, No state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender to payment of debt. Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. Isn't that interesting? According to the Constitution, we're not supposed to use anything but silver and gold as real, true, honest money. Now, of course, you can use something else as currency. Absolutely. You could barter and trade. You can trade a product for a service, or a service for a product, or a product for a product, or a service for a service. Sure. But if you want to go for fiat currency, like the dollar bill, or the euro, or the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, any currency you think of, fake fiat glorified IOU debt note dollar bill. That's what I call it. 
That's all it is at the end of the day. It's an IOU. That's it. That's all it is. It was originally designed to be an IOU. That, that's... It, it's... It was very clearly stated. <laughs> this is an IOU. A.K.A. IOU Gold or IOU Silver. Funny enough. And I've brought this up a couple of times over the years. And I always end up... Well, not always, but I used to end up getting responses from people. They thought they were so clever. They would say, oh, this guy calls dollar bills fake fiat glorified IOU debt note dollar bills. Well, if that's the case, then just give them to me. I'll take them. I want those IOUs. My response has always been, why would I give you my IOUs if I don't owe you anything? What have you done for me? Doesn't that kind of just send your whole argument out the window? That doesn't change the fact that they're IOU notes. That's what they are. They're given to you in exchange for your time. I sold my time for them. So in a weird way, I guess you can argue that your boss or the company you work for, <laughs> they owe you time. That's why they give you IOU notes. They don't owe you silver and gold. They owe you your time back. So if they're IOUs, then give them to me. I can't do that. You don't know me. I don't owe you anything. You haven't done anything for me. You've provided no value in any way, shape, or form <laughs> in my life. Why would I even give you an IOU? Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit more about real, true, honest money. Because we started out with money. We started out with silver and gold. And then we moved on over to currency. But back then, it wasn't worthless currency. Sure, it was an IOU note, but at the time, the currency was actually backed by money. Fake fiat currency backed by real, true, honest money. You could argue that that's a little bit of a red flag right there. Like, all right, well, why would I want something that's backed by money when I can just have the actual money? I would agree. But back then, it was actually backed by money. Our dollar bill was backed by gold. We had the gold standard. Our coins, our quarters, our dimes, our half dollars were made out of silver. So if our bills were backed by gold and our coins were made out of silver, then our currency was backed by real, true, honest money. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. We came off the gold standard. It was just supposed to be a temporary thing. Several decades have gone by and it hasn't been brought back. And I think it's safe to say it's a thing of the past. I know there are some people holding their breath, being like, oh, the gold standard's coming back. No, it absolutely is not. I'm willing to bet the stack on it. <laughs> I don't think the precious metals are on the radar anymore for the biggest of the big dogs. The elite of the elite. Don't think they care. <laughs> I think they're on to the next thing. But we came off the gold standard and silver was removed from our coins. And our currency ever since then hasn't really been backed by anything, not officially. One could argue that for maybe, I don't know, a couple, of, a, short, a short couple of decades, our currency was backed by oil. That would make sense. It makes sense to me. It wasn't officially or technically backed by oil, but one could, you know, very easily make that argument. But I don't think that's still a relevant argument. I think currency right now is backed by debt. And by the way, I know when a lot of people hear the word debt, it's like, oh, oh debt, oh no. No, debt doesn't have to be a bad thing. Debt can be a good thing. Although I don't think the dollar bill is backed by the good kind of debt necessarily. I think it's backed by the good and the bad kind of debt. A little bit of both, which could be a dangerous game, obviously, because we've <laughs> we've seen the way this country is managing the national debt, and we see that we keep having to raise the debt ceiling and push deadlines back because we are unable to afford that debt. 
one could actually argue that hey, that, that, that kind of sounds like the country's going bankrupt. Yeah, I would agree. It does sound like that. If you're unable to pay your debts, it seems inevitable. But our dollar bill, I personally believe, is backed by debt. The good kind of debt and the bad kind of debt. And funny enough, what does that silver round say that I just showed off? How come this says, no state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender in payment of debt? How come our dollar bills actually say the word debt on them? How come our currency is, I would say, very obviously intertwined with debt, whether you want to say it's backed by debt or whatever you want to say. Meanwhile, silver and gold, real true honest money, constitutionally recognizes money, and not only that, biblically recognizes money, and not only that, internationally recognizes money. So you go anywhere else in the world, and yeah, you, you could do a currency conversion, but they don't go by the US dollar. Different countries have different currencies for different reasons. They have different governments, they have different everything. One thing they have in common is they all recognize silver and gold as the same thing. See, you can't take a Canadian dollar to, let's just say, man, I don't even know, China or something like that. You can't take an Australian dollar to Mexico. Like, yeah, you can do this and make the currency conversion, but they don't recognize it as their own currency. But funny enough, if you take a Canadian silver or gold maple leaf to China, or if you take an Australian silver or gold kangaroo coin to Mexico, all of a sudden, it's recognized. All of a sudden, surprise, surprise, it's desired, it's wanted. All of a sudden, it's not a conversion anymore. All of a sudden, is hey, give me that. That's, hey, that's money. That's money right there. I didn't want your currency, but I didn't know you had money in your pocket. Yeah, give me the money. All of a sudden, it turns into that. And I don't think that should come as a surprise to anybody, if I'm going to be honest with you. Real, true, honest money. Constitutionally recognized as money. Biblically recognized as money. Internationally recognized as money no matter where you go. If the country understands what precious metals are and if they value precious metals and they know that there is a global precious metal demand for so many different reasons, which by the way is nearly every single country on the planet, then they will be on the same page as you. Real, true, honest money. There's a reason you can go to a coin shop in a different country and they will happily take your silver and gold coins from this country. They might not want your currency from this country, but they want your money from this country. They want your they want money from any country. They don't care. It's money. That gold maple leaf it's just gold when it's melted down. When you melt down a gold maple leaf, it's not a gold maple leaf anymore. It's just a piece of gold. Can't say the same about Canadian dollars or US dollars or anything like that. So hopefully you understand the point I'm trying to get across. Hopefully I was able to paint a little bit of a picture for everybody out there. Hopefully I was able to articulate my thoughts. Silver and gold are real, true, honest money. Whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not, that's just the way it is. And I have a timer about to go off on my phone. Look at that. 30 seconds left. 28 seconds left. Let me turn that off. I have a timer set to let me know when to wrap up a video. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Would you agree? Would you disagree? If you disagree, you're kind of wrong. Hate to say it, but let me know your thoughts on anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please 
hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a bunch of different designs. A lot of the products are helping us raise some funds and awareness for different charity organizations, by the way. And of course, Mikey is cooler than Nike. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. And every Saturday morning, I post a brand new vlog. And there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP Club link in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer one friend to the app by the end of the month. They're going to give you 10 free random stocks for the referral. Refer three friends to the app by the end of the month, and they're going to give you all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple. Don't pass up on an opportunity. Weeble link in the description. Time is running out. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. They're free then just sell them. Congratulations. Now you have the cash to go and get you some real, true, honest money, silver and gold, if that's what you want. We will link in the description. You have about a week and a half left. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? Would you agree that silver and gold are real, true, honest money? Did I do a decent job explaining that in this video? If, if I mentioned something that you didn't previously get or know or understand, but now you do, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I was able to articulate my thoughts as effectively as possible when it comes to the real, the true, the honest money. Honest value never fails. No state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender to payment of debt. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.